the story about my one trip to Columbia where I ended up getting shot three times, having ended up in the best shape of my life. So it's about May 2017, me and my best friend David, we travel all over the world together. We've gone over to 30 countries. I said, uh, let's go to South America because we want to visit uh, Machu Picchu, Peru, because we're trying to see all the seven wonders of the world. I said, let's get a stop in uh, Columbia because I want to see, you know, some big booties. So we went there and then we went to Bogota, had a great fucking time. And we said, oh, let's go to Cali, Colombia before we out to Peru tomorrow. At the time, we didn't realize Cali, Columbia was actually the murder capital of the world. So we're outside a nightclub. I said, bro, I'm going to go home. I was waiting for Uber. I kept checking my, checking my phone. My pants were really tight. I was tired of taking it out of my pocket. So I put my t-shirt pocket. And two guys on a motorcycle drove up. Put the gun in my chest. Shot me two times in the chest. But luckily, my iPhone with an R-Box case stopped the two of bullets. And I pointed it at my head. I grabbed the barrel of a gun. Shot it straight, straight through my hand. I can't make a fist to this day. I didn't realize I'd been shot. So I started walking. I fell down. I saw something, fell asleep, something warm. I looked at my hand spraying blood over my shirt. I start freaking out. So I grab my hand, I start sprinting. I find an alleyway, I lay down, I pass out. I wake up the back of some girl's car. She's yelling, no more kid, no more kid, don't die in Spanish. I wake up in the most fucking ghetto hospital in the world. The hospital's so full, they have us in these hallways on these stretchers. This video right here, I went up with my hand. This guy, his leg was chopped off. My phone didn't work, so I had the security guard call my hotel. Our tour guide that came and talked to the hospital. Okay, they want ten thousand US dollars cash to operate you. Ten thousand dollars cash? I'm not gonna give them ten thousand dollars cash to this ghetto ass hospital. So we both went back to California where my dad was at. So we stopped in Miami. They did all the drug tests on us because they thought we were smuggling drugs, but obviously we didn't bring any drugs. Flew back to California, hung with my dad for a week, and he booked me a appointment with a hand the best hand surgeon in Seattle. So a week later I flew to Seattle and then a surgeon they said, Okay, it's a quick procedure. All we're going to do, we're going to fix up your tendons. Before they put the thing that knocks you out, it's a band. This will be way better than your trip to Kobe. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I pass out. I wake up three weeks later, out of fucking coma. Because I end up being allergic to anesthesia. Because that's something called malignant hyperthermia. I wake up out of the coma. My mom's there yelling at me. My mom's a Korean pastor and she hates tattoos. She never seen any tattoos before. She's like, Ben, why do you have all these tattoos? That's why they shot you. The devil's there. It's the devil's in you. And the worst part of this whole thing was they put had a ventilator down my throat and my lungs. And every two hours, they wake me up to make me breathe, okay? And they pull out my lungs, then try to breathe. I suffocate, uh, uh, down my lungs again. So basically, every two hours for one week straight, they make, suff make me suffocate by trying to make me breathe to make my lungs work. And I was in the hospital for three months. I couldn't move, couldn't talk. Food became my comfort. I put on 52 pounds of body fat while being in the hospital. Bro, when I got to the hospital, I was like a fucking tub of lard. Look at this. Prior to this, I was 8% body fat because I was a personal trainer prior. So I went from a shredded, peak of perfection and at this fucking blob. And I couldn't work out because my hand was fucked up. Since I couldn't work out, I just kept eating and eating and eating. So I ended up 52 pounds heavier than before my trip to Columbia. Yes. I remember one time I was driving. I literally contemplated just driving straight into the fucking traffic and killing myself. But I said, Ben, if you give up now, you will be stuck like this for the rest of your life. I would put resistance bands around my wrist with a cast. I would do that. I would do these. Basically anything I do to burn the body fat. I cut my calories really low, 1,500 calories a day. And I realized I'm fucking up my metabolism. This is what my clients do where they just starve themselves, go on these stupid fad diets. And as soon as they go back to eating like a normal person, they binge eat. I said, dude, there's gotta be a way where I can still eat the food I want and still lose body fat. And so I basically experimented with like every fad diet you can think of like paleo, keto. I tested all these different diets out to see what worked for my body. And I figured out what worked for my, what macronutrients work for my body. So you can still pretty much eat where I want and still lose body fat. So it took me about five months to perfect my metabolic hacking method. And this is what I ended up like. And with my metabolic hacking method, I've helped over 400 different busy entrepreneurs, busy CEOs, and business owners not only change their lives, change their body, also their mindset around food as well. Because there's no such thing as a food that automatically makes you fat. It's all a math equation. If you take in more calories than you burn, you'll get fat. As long as you're a caloric deficit, you can lose body fat no matter what. Obviously, the macronutrients, they make a huge factor in it because, for instance, fat, if CHA2 keeps you full, carbs give you a good pump because who wants to work out with a, with a good pump you know so basically i perfected the macros for my body and it got so i got shredded in five months guys that's how i tripped to columbia where i got shot three times was in a coma for three weeks bedridden in the hospital for three months had me ended up in the best shape of my life not only that also helped me create my metabolic hacking method which is now my number one selling program if you're interested in learning more about my metabolic hacking method go ahead and dm me mhm